What is the weirdest advice you have heard that is strangely effective? Marry a woman with small hands. It will make your penis look bigger. My granddad lived to be 95. I asked him what the secret to a long happy life was. He told me to mind my own business. Grandpa, what's your secret to a happy life at 95? Fuck off. I'm not telling you. Mind your own business. Rinse your cereal bowl straight away. That stuff sets like concrete. Don't beat yourself up forever. Beat yourself up once then move on. Mr. Homer Simpson. That's actually good. My favorite Homer is Amis. Just because I don't care, doesn't mean I don't understand. Another one, Lisa, if you don't like your job, you don't strike. You go in every day, and do it really half-assed. That's the American way. To improve your posture, pretend that you are shooting lasers out of your nipples, and trying to shoot people in the head. Laughing my ass off. When I was trying to train myself to get better confidence and stop looking at the ground, whenever I walk or talk, I would take walks and imagine that there are headlights coming out of my tits and I needed to shine the way. Don't be cheap with things that hold you off the ground, shoes, beds, and tires. If you can't decide between two equally good options, flip a coin. If you're disappointed with your result, go with the losing side. Variation on this, flip the coin high, if you have a side you want it to land on while in the air, or stepping to pick it up, that's what you go with. You can get into a lot of places wearing a hard hat and a high visibility vest. A co-worker told me that when someone has the hiccups you tell them this, you're not a fish. The amount of times this has worked, has convinced me she's a witch. I have texted her at least a half dozen times whenever it worked. At one point, while I had the hiccups, and asked a friend to tell me I'm not a fish. Worked. Fucking sorcery. A wise man once told me, buy a plunger before you need a plunger. When walking among other people, there's a trick to avoid the annoying little who is gonna pass on what side dance, where both of you go left, then both go right and then you finally pass. Pick a direction and aim your face towards your intended direction, like look to the left or right of them, clearly turning your head in a single direction. This is a clear signal to people so there's no confusion as to which way you want to pass them. I haven't had that annoying dance since. Fail quickly, as in, if your plan may not succeed, better to find out next week than next year. Help me quit a suffocating job and dig into my own business. If looking for something in a low light environment, try to use your peripheral vision. I read about it in an old World War II manual about aerial combat at night. It has something to do with how your eyes work. It has helped me many times over the years. For finding stuff in a darkened room, or outside in a field at night, not aerial combat. Get someone to warm to you, by asking them for a small favor, not asking to do something for them, but asking them to do something for you. I have no idea why this works, but it does. It makes them feel needed, and important at least for you. Similarly, I was thinking it shows, that you trust them. When writing an email, leave the recipient field until last. And add the attachments first. How to unclog your nose. Close your mouth and pinch your nose, so you can't breathe. Shake your head up and down, until you need to breathe. Remove your hand from your nose and breathe, through your nose not your mouth. Been doing this for a while now, and it's pretty effective. Don't give excuses, unless they ask for it. For example, if you are late for work, just say that you are late, not why you are late. 2. From elderly southern relatives. 1. Something ain't nothing. Taking 5 minutes to work out, clean, work on a big project, etc. is better than 0 minutes. We often think we've got to do 2 hours of rigorous work, or it doesn't accomplish anything. 2. Time will pass either way, if you want to work to get better at something, accomplish a long term goal, or change careers or credentials, don't look at the 2 to 5 years, and think you'll be too old. If you're 24, and want to go to college, 
you'll be 28 in 4 years with or without a degree regardless of what you do in that time. If you want to buy something, wait 24 hours, and if you still want to buy it afterwards then buy it. This has really cut down my impulse buying, and has made saving money extremely easy. Do you understand that, if you try to endlessly stack bricks, no matter how perfect you do it, they will fall over? My boss told me this after I burnt out. Just says that, no matter how well you plan your work, too much is too much. If you sit quietly, while everyone else fucks up, you're going to win big, John Oliver. I've gotten multiple jobs and school opportunities by just doing my work, and not being a loud moron. For a perfect high five look at the elbow of the other person. 100% of the time it'll be a spot on high five. Thanks for watching the video. For more content like this, please subscribe, like, and share the video and push the notification button.